Hey guys, it's Albert Aguilar, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be discussing if you should haul or sell the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro in the Grinch colorway that just released a few days ago. So drop a like if you're excited for this one, hit subscribe for more, and let's get started. Okay, so there were numerous videos, numerous reports saying that the stock was gonna be around 600 capers worldwide. Obviously, some rumors now say that we had 85 capers in the US, that's where I'm living, in the US, United States. But I don't even think that that was true. I know the Full Locker and some retailers that had the shoe didn't have much stock and it's looking like sneakers had most of it. But still, if you look at StockX and you see the prices, it just, everything that was said before the release, like that everyone was gonna be able to pick a pair, like, I don't think that many people got multiple pairs. Obviously, people with bots in like Full Locker and some like retailers, whenever they drop at 10 a.m. Eastern time, they got some pairs and now obviously they're going to be very happy with the prices. But stock was not as huge guys. It's a Kobe 6 Pro so it was almost Christmas. Um, well, yeah, almost Christmas. So not everyone got a pair. It was not like Nike saying, oh yeah, it's Christmas, don't worry guys, we're just producing a lot of stock, everyone is going gonna, is gonna to get a pair. No, that didn't happen at all. If you look at StockX, you see that um, the, you know, the smaller sizes like 5.5, 6, 6.5, they are around 400 and something you know, 450. And then sizes seven, eight, eight and a half and nine, you know, they, they keep this range like 370 something, almost 400. But then when we move from 9.5 up all the way until like 10.5, 11 and then 12, we're getting past 500. And yes, I know you're gonna tell me, okay, Albert, so when everyone gets the purse, like from the, you know, full locker, foot sides and the other retailers and from Nike sneakers, although they might take a while because it looks like they are arriving around like January 6th, January 7th, obviously because of Christmas, New Year Eve and even COVID a little bit, things are gonna be getting delayed. So don't expect to see, you know, the prices dropping in StockX in like two or three days. You're gonna have to wait a little more. Yes, some people are gonna get the purse early, maybe because of the state where they live, of the area, depending if they're in Europe, you know, like any other part of the world. But prices are gonna, you know, I think they're gonna keep this range for a little while due to those delays. Then what's gonna happen is what always happens. Prices are gonna dip because there's gonna be, you know, people getting scared, um, just, you know, selling the purse crazy. Some people are gonna sell locally. And I think, I'm sure that because the stock was low, local stores are gonna be paying higher prices and you're gonna be, you know, paying a lot of cash to you guys if you're near a good store that wants it per to sell it there and obviously make more money. That's one thing that is gonna happen. Normally, when we talk about holding or selling shoes, if it's a Jordan 1, if it's a Yeezy 350, even the Yeezy 700 and some other models, I always recommend to, you know, holding this shoe unless you need the cash flow for, you know, coming releases or future releases or just because you're not playing the long game and you wanna just get a pair Cop something, sell it, make the money, save the money and invest it in future shoes. This time is gonna be a little different, you know, because the stock was not as crazy as everyone thought, because you see stock eggs and you really see that the money is high and prices are not dipping like everyone expected after re the release because everyone got a pair. That's not happening. So this time I'm gonna recommend you, yes, if you got multiple pairs and you don't need the money, you just you know, went for the drop because you wanted to see if you got that and you got one pair, two pairs, and you wanna, you know, make some profits, sell the shoe, guys. You know, obviously when everyone trades the purse, prices are gonna dip a little bit, but still, they are higher than when we expected. So even if they dip, they might not get to that level where you're just gonna be making $40, $30, $20, and then it's not worth it. No. I think you're gonna be making 150, 200, or maybe 130, 140, even when everyone receives their purse. So selling when you get the shoes and not pre-selling, I think it's still gonna be a great idea. And if you got two, three pairs, and you're making like 150 per, uh, dollars per each, you're talking about 450 without even holding the shoe within like one week and a half or two weeks. And that's that's great. That's great. You know, it's 400 dollars, 500 dollars. That's great money. If you're one of those sneakerheads that has, you know, has the capital, is playing the long game, holy shoe, like four months or maybe six months and you're gonna start seeing more profits. If this shoe, like with a 10, doesn't dip below the 400 range, I think in six months you could see this shoe for $600. And this shoe costs, if I'm not wrong, 180, 190 and then, you know, taxes. So you're gonna be seeing 
maybe close to 300 profit in around six months. If you got multiple pairs, you're quickly gonna make more than $1,000. So here guys, it's up to you. You need the money, you're making good money selling it right away, thinking that you're not gonna get the shoe in three days. Probably you're gonna get it, you know, maybe in January already and not by the end of December. Quick selling is gonna be a good option. Local stores, just after you got the shoe, it's gonna be a good option as well. And then holding long, six months, that's gonna be a good price as well. You're gonna be making money either way. We don't generally say that with these 350s, 700s, Jordan 1s. Right away, you sell the shoe, you make three, you know, $30, $40, 20 quick bucks, like the other day with the 700 Yeezys Clay Browns. But this shoe is different, guys. So whatever you pick, it's gonna give you money. And now I think it's all in your capital on what you wanna invest. If you see that the future drops are not, you know, that interesting for you, and you're not gonna need, you're not gonna need this capital until like maybe, you know, Supreme Season is done. Um, there's not very huge drops probably after the end of January. Up to you guys. For me, I didn't get this shoe. You know, I was so excited seeing all this crazy 600K stock that I was gonna get it. I did it with my girlfriend, you know, using the iPad, my phone, my girlfriend's phone, and even the computer. Didn't get it. I just did it in sneakers though. But if you got this shoe, I think, and you sell it now, if you're like me, young guy, trying to make money, you know, and just getting a shoe, quickly making the money so you get it back on your bank account, sell the shoe right away. You make 150, quick profits, and it's great money, guys. So that was a tough cop, you know, uh, didn't get the shoe, hopefully you did, and hey, drop a like if that was exciting for you, and if you learned something new that's gonna help you, you know, maximize the profits, or at least make a good decision with this Nike Kobe 6 Pro or Grinch colorway, very cool colorway, by the way, you know, drop a like, subscribe for more, because there's more videos coming. I'm Albert Aguilar, I'll see you very soon in my next video.